But they also they also tried licensing some uh, some other things. They licensed this game called uh, The Adventures of Robbie Roto with an exclamation mark. Which was programmed by, uh, it was handled by Dave Nutting Associates. There we go. There he is. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> That's his name, Dave Nutting. What are you guys laughing at? That's just his name. Grow up. <laughs> Anyway, this, this this flyer is awful. <laughs> so you play as Robbie Roto. You have to look out for the wicked troll and the the jawbones and uh, the evil Voltar and sinister spiders. But Robbie's got to find his friends inside the maze. They're in jail, and also look for treasures. Yeah, this definitely feels like well, we can we can make somebody like look like Pac-Man, right? We don't. We can't make another Pac-Man game, but we can, uh, uh, we can call it not Pac-Man. Also, this game, okay, so the basic gist of it is, you know, digging around, but this game actually predates, uh, uh Dig Dug. So this game is not a, this is game is not a Dig Dug ripoff. Dig Dug came out in 1982. And yeah, apparently the uh, the creator of the game uh, has legally made it uh, uh, has made it a legal a legal ROM you can download from the from the main website. So you don't have to go to a, a shady warehouse or anything. You can just uh, if you want to play the Adventures of Robbie Roto, you can play it guilt free. Isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? And if they're giving it away for free, it's got to be a good game. That's how it works. Alright. I thought Dig Dug was 1982. I guess it didn't make its way stateside until 1982. Maybe that was a confusion. But even then, I don't know if they uh, were able to... Whoop, game didn't come up. There it goes. Should say Valley Midway. Roto to the rescue! Yeah, I played a credit of this off stream. That's my high score. Ah, uh, well. I think there's some instructions. Let's uh, give it another cycle. Arc Tangent X! Thank you for the 32 months. They drew this... T MS Paint didn't even exist yet. How did they draw this uh, this title screen? Come on, where are, the, uh, where are the instructions so we know how to play this? Magic Roto runs through monsters, go through a locked door, touches the dreaded... Uh, and removes it from the maze. One magic per maze. Magic can be saved until needed. Well, that's all the instructions they give you. I don't like the jawbones. Ow! So they don't mention anything else you're supposed to do. I probably should have... Uh... Wait, were there instructions on, on that flyer? I was too busy laughing. Not really. Okay, so... Get ready. Look at this. So you gotta free your buddies. And avoid spiders. And also, you can't uh, you can't get out unless you have the key. I want that treasure? 
Oh, I didn't get it. Mongolitis. Alright. Uh, avert your eyes. God damn it. <laughs> Double score for next maze. Oh god, I didn't want to, I didn't want to go out. You can't uh, you can't leave until you save your buddies. I can't leave without my buddy Superfly. So the spiders like they actually ah shit. They actually try to like flank you and stuff. Oh god. Uh-oh. Birdland. All right, we Oh no, he got one of my buddies. So I think you don't get the, the full bonus if you don't take all three out at once. Uh-oh. I should have used my magic. Oh, he got fucked up. Okay. Yeah, you don't get the double score bonus unless you get all three in the same trip. So then starting with stage three, they make it... they make it harder. Like, you can't really... see all the paths unless you, like, squint. <laughs> you kind of have to guess where the... <laughs> the path is. So that's cool. Uh -oh. ah, ah. Okay, can I get through there? Yes, I can. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Alright, and go up that way. Use your magic! Oh, they got my buddy! No! I wasted my magic. Alright. Well, the longer you take in the maze, uh, the more shit gets thrown in there. Oh god, here come the teeth. don't know how to get around this! Other than using magic. Ah! I thought I pressed down. Wow, my buddies are all over the place. Okay. Well... I gotta use magic. There we go. Look at those points. And then... The bonus Roto Machine made a... Ow! First it ruined my eyes, and then it made a clone. That's how you get extra lives. I guess it's every four stages an extra life, or something. But I haven't gotten much farther than this, so... Oh, this is good. They're all on the right side. I like that. I got the key. Uh-oh, here comes... Here comes this butt knocker. I'm out! I didn't get all... Triple score next maze! Let's go. Oh, big points. Alright. Oh, they separated everything! <laughs> God, it's so hard to find the, uh... Ah! Find the path. What looks like the path is sometimes not the path. Okay, uh, this guy... Uh-oh. Got his magic! <laughs> That didn't slow him down. Shit. Uh... Ah! Sp oh! They can actually go through that. Game over. The screen is very bongo-colored when you die.
Even on the high score screen, you get shot. Yeah, the the soundscape sure is something. Uh, as for all the screen flashing, uh, let's just say you know it was it was the early '80s. Everybody was trying to uh, make their games stand out, get people's attention in the arcades. So you make your you make your cabinet flashy. That's gonna get attention, right? Yeah, it is. It is very Wizard of War esque. Wizard of War was a much more successful game than this. See, I thought Dig Dug was eighty two, but apparently it came out in Japan in eighty one. Supposedly. But I don't think they were... Uh, I don't think they saw Dig Dug when they made this. Unless they... I don't know. How long do you think it took them to make this? <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard another story about Dig Dug, but that's going to have to wait till 1982. I don't think I can have another credit of this. I don't want to do that to everybody's eyesight. I think we, we get the gist of this. This game gets gets very difficult very fast. Like it's got a it's got a bit of a difficulty curve. Like the first the first two levels are kind of are kind of simple. You can actually like see the mazes. Why did it add sound effects there? That being said, apparently people have figured out this game. And have, uh... Gotten like 700,000 points in this and... On the main action replay page, so... Uh... I guess I'm just bad at this. <laughs> Alright, well... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this one. It's it's something for for 1981. Wikipedia says February 1982 for Japan. Okay, I'm hearing like conflicting things, but makes sense. Oh, we gotta make a poll. Robbie Roto with an exclamation mark. On a scale of one to five bongos, do you think this game deserved better? Or do you think this game deserved to stay... stay the obscurity that it is? Because it did not, uh... It did not get much in the way of distribution. I think the only cabinet I've ever seen of this was at, uh... Was that Galloping Ghost? But, you know, some... Some folks might have seen it. <laughs> How do I vote zero? It's, ah, it's it's not a zero. It's at least I don't know. At least it's not a space shooter, I guess. Like it, it's something different for for 1981. I mean, it's still it's still kind of a maze game. It's basically a maze game at heart, but... Anyway, chat has uh, decreed... 58% gave this... Gave us two bongos. Well, now that I've seen that it is... It is possible to, like, marathon this. And that it's not, uh... It's not impossibly difficult. Uh, I think two is pretty fair. Two's all right. Yeah, it was kind of. Twenty-two percent said three. Twenty percent said one. Three seems pretty generous. <laughs> it seems a little generous. I mean, also taking into account the God, the, just the entire aesthetic of the game, just looking so, <laughs> looking like MS Paint before MS Paint existed. Like, damn, how did they do that? 
Are they time travelers? Eh. Two seems about right. Not complete garbage, but was definitely not destined for 